In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Spring Security in a Vaadenflow application. I'm going to continue with the to-do application that I built in the previous video, but this would work for any Vaadenflow application. The basic steps here are to add the Spring Security dependency, create a login view, then configure Spring Security, and finally configure access to the views. Let's get started by going to the POM file here and add a dependency for Spring Boot Starter Security. Reload Maven here, and we also need to restart the server. With the server restarted, you'll see that we have a login view here, but we don't have a username or password. So what I want to do next is create a custom login form and then configure Spring Security so that we can log in. So we'll start here in the application package. We'll create a new Java class called login view. And login view will extend from vertical layout. And we will add a route annotation on this with the path of login. Also say anonymous allowed, meaning that anyone is allowed to access the login view. All right, then create a constructor. What I want to do is have a centered login form. So for that, I'm going to set the size to full. I'm going to set the alignment of items to center. And then I'm going to set the justification mode to center as well. All right, then next create that login form. The login form will need to post the login detail somewhere. So we're going to set the action to be the login path. And that's something that Spring Security handles. And then finally, we'll add these to our layout. So I'm going to add a new h1 saying to do app. And then we'll have this um, login form here. Okay, and what we need to do then is create a security configuration class. So we're going to create a new class here called security configuration. And security configuration needs a couple of annotations. First of all, enable web security, and then it needs a configuration annotation like this. So Spring Boot picks that up. In here, we're going to extend from the Vaadin web security class and override the configure HTTP security method here. And what we need to do here is call set login view passing that HTTP configuration object. And then we need to specify that we want to use our login view as the login view. Good. All right, so the final thing we need to do here is configure a user details manager so that we have user details to log in with. So I'll create a new bean and we'll return a user details manager. And we can just call this user details manager. And what I want to do here is return a new in memory user details manager. And this would be where you would hook up to like your database or other providers. But in this case, we're just going to have a single in memory user. So we're going to call user with the username. I'm going to call this Marcus. And we're going to have a password that will be no op Marcus. So we're not going to encrypt this in any way. And then we're going to give me some roles, user, and then finally hit build here. So now I should be able to log in with Marcus and Marcus. All right, we're going to save that. And then finally, what we need to do is configure view access. So right now, if we tried to uh, navigate to to do view, that wouldn't work. What we need to do instead is say, permit all, which means permit any logged in user to access this. All right, so let's build this and see where we're at. So I'm going to navigate to localhost 8080. And we can see that we're now on this custom looking login page, I'm going to log in with Marcus, password, Marcus, hit login. So there you have it, setting up spring security in a bottom flow project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.